Today we're going to talk about end phase upgrade. We're going to talk about adding an end phase ensemble battery system to my existing solar system. I'll be integrating my 78 M phase 6 plus inverters into this new battery system. And that all comes down through the household and comes down to these service panels here. We'll talk about that for a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add about 40 kilowatts of backup battery power to my home system. My house has two 200 amp services, which you can see here. Here's one panel, 200. Here's the other panel, 200. My solar comes down from the roof through these wires. It's combined through six 13 panel string layers into two combiner boxes and then brought down into a sub panel two 60 amp circuits. And those two 60 amp circuits are combined into a single leg of wires that come through here and push backwards into this panel here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this into 39 panels each side and we're gonna bring half of those panels over into this service panel and we're gonna back up 20 kilowatts of battery to each of these, I'm gonna call them whole home, whole house backup systems. We're not gonna bring out a sub panel and do sub loads for the house. We're gonna do the whole house backup in two service segments. And what you can see here is we have two services coming in from the outside in the three inch hard conduit and the services come up through here and supply the service panel. We're going to be changing this, taking these service conductors, moving them over here to a switch, the ensemble switch. And I have two switches and then from each switch we're going to put 10 kilowatts of battery plus 10 kilowatts of battery into each switch, okay? To monitor my home system, I have three separate monitoring systems on this, on my, on my service panels. And I can collect this information and it feeds up to my computer and I can read it through my computer or my phone even. And the first system comes with the Enphase product, which is the data over power. And I can uh, review from my computer screen all the information that comes through that system. So I can see the production, I can see some consumption that comes through the Enphase system. Secondly, I have right here what's called the Sense system. The Sense system has CTs that go over the solar PV and a couple that go over the main lugs for the service panel. And the Sense system has a feature where where an appliance will come on in a circuit, it, it uh, sees the electronics use of the motor and estimates what that motor might be. So if you turn a dishwasher on, it sees the pattern of that electrical consumption and says, hey, that might be a dishwasher. You confirm it, and then from there forward, that dishwasher is recognized from the Sense system. So that, that applies to many of the appliances that you use here, although I haven't found that it monitors all of my appliances correctly, okay? And I only have the sense system in a single panel at this time. They don't, it doesn't do multiple panels at this time, although I hear that's coming out. Uh, the third system I have on here is called TED, the energy detective. And that's all these red and black wires that you see. And these are direct CTs over each of the circuits. And then the consumption is measured at each of the circuits uh, as consumption is consumed in each of the circuits. And those are fed wireless through um, spiders that come over to these two black boxes. And then these go back to the internet and then show up on my computer screen. And I can see through both of these service panels consumption uh, at the circuit level, okay? So between the three of those systems, I have a pretty good picture of consumption, 
uh, for all of the devices and all the circuits at the home and also the solar production uh, through two methods to see how much solar is being produced and I guess the third method would be from the utility showing me what the production and consumption overall for the home is. So what we're going to do is modify this current house system to, uh, to integrate the battery controls and the battery functionality to, to the household. So we're going to remove from the top here the service conjectures. We're going to bring them out through a gutter. We're going to bring a gutter across the wall here and a gutter below all the equipment here. And then we're going to electrically connect the switches through the gutter and then bring the conductors back up, refeed the service panels. So I've prepared this wall. This is a non-bearing wall. It's a two by four wall, five eighths drywall on both sides in this case. I've added this three quarter inch uh, plywood to the wall for structure. And I've painted it to match. And then I've added the plates, the support plates for the battery systems themselves. So you can see I've got four plates here. Each of these four plates will have three 3.3 ensemble battery packs. They'll be wired together. These pop off, these plugs come out, and then you can wire between the, the batteries. It'll come from this 10K to this 10K. It'll come out of this 10K. Might go down into the gutter, come back out the gutter and get into the switch for the switch controls. And then we'll do that twice into the other switch. And then the switches will control the power out to the panels. There is a couple appliances on my home service that are be too great for these batteries to support, but the bulk of my home operation will be supported in, in, a, in an off-grid uh, situation with these 40 kilowatts. <clears throat> my house consumes about 50 kilowatts, kilowatt hours per day, and uh, this 40 kilowatt system with the sun should last me many days, if not all days. If I get multiple, multiple cloudy days, then there might be a situation where where this won't help me out. But in most cases, I think this is gonna work. Uh, there's a consumption or planning uh, sizing tool on the web as well that will help, help you size the right uh, battery system for your home use. So this is one of the M-Phase Ensemble 3.3 battery packs. It's controlled by four of the IQ8s here. It's got a lithium phosphate battery pack here. You can see the heat conductors on it. It's got a disconnect switch. You can see here the top comes off. You've got your connection switches. And this is where the plug comes out so that you can connect battery to battery to battery up to three for these 10Ks each. These would be the battery covers that cover each of the three packs. This is a 10K cover. I have four covers here. These are my other, uh, I've unpacked and have these staged, my 3.3K packs. Here's the other 11 of them that will move over into the other room, hang on those frames, hang on the walls, and then cover them. So this is what's involved for 10K packs. Additional equipment we're gonna have is this uh, wireless USB communication kit for M-Phase. We're gonna have the, the cell communication kit. This is required for communications and monitoring, continuous monitoring. And then for each service panel side, we're going to have a combiner box. This will have, uh, uh, like you think, the uh, Envoy and communications equipment associated. So I'll show you about that install in a bit. Here the solar is up on this rooftop, comes behind the wall, drops into this panel uh, 13 times 3 come down into this circuit 13 panels times 3 into a combiner box comes down into this circuit times 2 
These combine here, go down into the equipment room I showed you. This uh, 20 amp circuit powers up my current M phase envoy, and this will be replaced with the new equipment. This is my exterior disconnect on the other side of that solar sub panel. We're going to have to, you can see this is a single disconnect for the entire system. As I mentioned, we're going to split this into two. We're going to put another switch here, and then we're going to go twice down into the uh, basement service panels. Here you can see on the outside of the house, my two service drops, 200 amps each coming to the side of the house. These go underneath the floor into the utility equipment room. Uh, where I showed you earlier. You can see the supply for these 200 amps each go underground, go out to the pole. On the pole is my service meter. You can see the two services coming out of the bottom of the meter set and you can see my transformer that was dropped for the home. Your system will be similar but likely a little different than this.